I just had a huge crash. Oh, my bike's up there. Oh, oh fuck. Oh. Oh. Mm. Yeah, fell off. Simple. Oh, my handlebar just clipped a rock and I fell down. This, oh, hit my helmet really hard. I'm gonna get up here and take stock. Yeah, oh, easy trail, flying, having fun, <laughs> and bump my bar here and shot me down there. Oh. My helmet is broken pretty hard, right? The map coordinates of my dad's crash site. Planes flying overhead right now. But I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm lucky I went down that cliff <laughs> 10 feet down. <laughs> Okay. Gonna go out into the sun. Collect myself. Put my helmet back on. Just walk for a minute. I don't really want these people to my tears. Uh, that's amazing. Everything stayed on my bike. Um, whew, just gonna walk for a minute longer. I do think I might have broken a rib though. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Oh, it's amazing how things can just go from flying on the most beautiful trail to just tumbling down a cliff. I mean, I bounced on my head and on my rib. So I'm going to ride slowly for a little while, see if I can breathe. And, um, yeah, then, then decide what to do. But my bike is okay. I'm okay. And just cracked helmet right there. <sighs> okay, gotta go. There's, I have to get myself out. I mean, whether I finish the route or not, <clears throat> there's nothing to do but <clears throat> get to a road. <laughs> I'm gonna look at my map and see, see kind of where I am. Okay, I'm just 
<laughs> There's a little blood coming through my knee warmer. <laughs> oh, I just got to take stock here and decide what's the right thing to do. Oh. Oh. Thank you, bike, for working. Thank you, helmet, <laughs> for working. Mm, yeah, I impacted hand, head, ribs in a heap down a rock pile. <sighs> oh. Ow. Okay. <sighs> Oh, this feels. Everything feels okay. Feels like my knee is scraped up and as far as my head, I'm I know where I am, I know what day it is. My rib is really uh, the thing that I'm most concerned about. Oh, it's beautiful here. Okay, just enjoy the scenery. Paddle gently. Try not to breathe too deep. <laughs> or laugh because it hurts. Or cry. Oof. fact that the rock that broke my helmet landed right on the map coordinates for my dad where he was buried <laughs> that is not lost on me he was protecting me he couldn't keep me from crashing but he kept my head from being hurt Reviewing the crash in my head and I used to be flying along, singing, just bumped my handlebar on a shooting rock and it sent me flying. I didn't have time to think about it. I know that Era's going to meet me at the next place the trail intersects a road. Which I don't know how far that is, but she's gonna meet me, say hi. I might take some inventory then and see how I'm feeling. It's really cold right now, too. Which is probably shock. I'm sure I'm in shock, <laughs> but I'm just going to slowly keep moving. It's kind of nothing for me to do, but to get myself to a road. And then do some damage control. Mm. It's... Maybe 
30 minutes after the crash. Things are starting to things are starting to seize up. It's hard for me to ride up a hill because I can't take a deep breath. I'm just walking my bike. Okay, rolling on flat and downhill, but can't really take a deep breath in. The adrenaline's wearing off now. At least the sun's out a little while longer. Skunk Canyon. That's where the crash happened in there and it's kind of weird. I <laughs> I had a skunk encounter two nights ago and didn't get sprayed and sort of had to do a little dance around the skunk and now maybe still did get the brunt of <sighs> some skunk. <laughs> oh, I, keep, I think I can get on my bike again now. This isn't too steep. I've been practicing all of my deep breathing this whole ride, trying to breathe through my nose, practice my energy breathing. And now all I can do is take a very shallow breath, the opposite of what we really need to do for performance and to move forward. Okay, this is okay. Let's keep moving. You know, here's the deal. I'm fine. I have a satellite tracker. I have communication. I might have a broken rib, but... Oh. Hopefully that's it. Which is why I want to keep moving. Because... Ribs can, ribs can cause problems. But the fastest way for me to get out of here is to get myself out. So, I'm not gonna spend much time messing around. I just can't ride any faster than this. It's saying I'm off route. I can't be off route. Come on. Well, there's friggin' nowhere else to go. I gotta get up. I gotta get up on top of this. So this is the way to go. I hope. Maybe the trail's changed. Does look like I'm coming right back to it. I can't walk up this. Oh. My whole right back, middle, middle sort of flank is really starting to seize up now. My head is clear where I am, <laughs> even though it says I'm off route, there haven't been any other trails, and I know I have to get out of this canyon. Looks like a nice spot. Uh, 
Um, well, I had a super bad crash. Okay. Like, I fell off, like, a 10-foot cliff. <laughs> okay. And I gotta, like, take stock. I might have broken a rib. Okay. But I don't know. So All right. Well, let me take that. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just trying to get here before anything happened. Yeah. But yeah, I'm really happy to see you. <laughs> Super happy to be here. All right, Coconino Trail. Um, that's a wrap for me. 48 miles from the finish, but had a bad crash and it's just not the right thing to continue on. I, my ribs are definitely bruised, maybe broken. I hit my head really hard. Um, so we are gonna pack up the vehicle and um, go to Sedona and get a nice warm place to sleep.